Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Gauri and today I'm here with a Nika haul. Nika recently had this huge Pink Friday sale. I think it's their version of the Black Friday sale. Uh, mind you, these are things that I bought, bought both during the Pink Friday sale and some of their other sales that they've had previously. This will be the part one of uh, my Nika haul or my Pink Friday haul. There are a few things that I bought from Amazon, Purple and Mintra here and there. So the first palette I got is the sh is their Sugar Rush palette. I've swatched most of these palettes. I think except for one which I intend to give away as a gift to a friend. Uh, I've swatched all of the other palettes and they are great when it comes to pigmentation. Both the mattes and the shimmering shades are beautiful. So I don't want to have to repeat myself for each of these palettes. That's just a given for all of these palettes. So these are their pink, pinky, plummy shades. In, it's in the shade Sugar Rush. This is how the shades look. I'm not going to swatch all of them on camera because this video is going to be really, really long if I start swatching each of these shades. The second eyeshadow palette I got is in the shade Gimme Gold or in the variant Gimme Gold. One thing that I want to mention about these palettes is that they come with their own blending brush which looks like this and their brushes are also beautiful in their good quality. So this is in the shade Gimme Gold. It's your you know basic golds and neutrals palette. It has a lot of shimmery shades and a few transition and few deeper shades here. The next palette I have is in the shade uh, or is in the variant Smoke Show. This is what it looks like. These again are neutrals but cool tone neutrals. The Gimme Gold one was warm tone neutrals but these are mostly cool tone neutrals. The next uh, palette I have is a face trio. I got it in the variant, it's their Lift and Sculpt Contour Palette, I think Contour and Highlight Palette, that's what it's called, is that it? Yeah. And I got it in the variant Medium to Deep, there is also one other uh, variant which is for light, which is targeted towards lighter skin tones. You know what, I am going to swatch this, at least, isn't that beautiful? So the highlighter is not shimmery, it's not glittery, it's glowy in the sense that even if you blended it really well and went to went into bright light or artificial light and looked at your hands or wherever you've swatched it, you will not see individual particles of glitter. Instead, they're just one smooth uh, powder layer of something that's glowy on your skin. It's incredible. I'm not a big fan of the blush shade. It works on me when I'm really, really light, but when I'm tan, this shade doesn't work on me. So I guess if this shade had been a little deeper, it would have gone with your medium to do deep skin tones. This is a good contour shade, not, not so much a, a bronzer shade because this as a bronzer would be a little ashy. The last palette that I have from uh, Flower Beauty. So I had initially gotten the trio that I showed earlier on. Uh, that is this one. I had initially gotten the trio, this trio. I loved the highlighter on this so much that I ended up buying their highlighter trio. It has three different shades and also comes with a tiny brush with it. It's called the Shimmer and Stroke Palette. I've gotten it in the shade... Uh, I think it's called Sunkissed Shimmer. It's got one bronzer topper kind of shade, one pinky highlight which could act like a blush topper and a highlighting shade in between. I love all of these shades. I used them maybe once or twice and they were beautiful. Totally worth the money, 600, 700 rupees that I paid. I'm getting three highlighters of really great quality. So that was the last palette from Flower Beauty. Um, I think I'm gonna feature all of the high-end stuff in one separate video. I had gone out with my cousins recently and one of them had introduced me to the Superstay Matte Ink Lipstick. I have tried their older formula and I wasn't a big fan so I didn't bother getting too many shades from them. But uh, recently when I tried the newer more advanced formula I think they've changed their formula and I've heard that from a bunch of people even on YouTube. And that day I decided the next time these go on sale I'm going to pick up a lot of shades. So I got the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink, is that what it's called? Yeah, Matte Ink Lipsticks. I got three of these, uh, one of it in the shade Dauntless, the other in the shade Amazonian and the third in the shade Lover. Lover is a beautiful pink shade, it's your everyday pink if you're a big 
fan of the pink lipstick then you have a deep red shade in dauntless which is 295 i'll probably swatch all of these in a different video later on because this video is going to be really long if i begin swatching all of them and amazonian was something that was on my wish list for a long time but these never go on sale these there are a couple of shades that never go on sale or even if they do they're like slightly reduced prices globe trotter amazonian and i think it is seductress the third shade so finally i decided to just get it i think i got it on full price or maybe 10% off so this is amazonian and this is a beautiful nude if you're somebody from my skin skin tone i am a mac nc42 for reference so since i was already buying the superstay matte inks i went ahead and bought two of these superstay uh, crayons i will leave the shade name somewhere on the screen because these do not have the shade names mentioned and the it's it's mentioned on the outer plastic and once you lose the plastic you lost you basically lost the shade names so what i did do was take a marker and write this one's shade on it this is in the shade 75 the other one i've not written the shade so i'm going to leave it on the screen then around i went out and bought a few blushes as well most of the times the blushes that i have are blushes that either come in palettes or high end blushes that i've purchased in the past and used for years so i got a few drugstore products trust drugstore blushes and the first one that i got was this makeup rub revolution i don't know what variant this is this is just the one that comes in this rose gold and pale pink packaging this is in the shade rose kiss it's it's that rosy pink with a little bit of dustiness to it like a little muted rose pink this blush that i got was this blue heaven shimmer matte blush this is in the shade 06 is it i have not used it uh, i was expecting it to be a very different shade and what i got is very different from what i was expecting it to be i was expecting it to be something similar to the previous blush uh maybe a little more blue toned but this is a very deep pink shade i'm yet to try this and once i do i probably will have a better formed opinion about it i think this is in the shade 7 i uh, i will make sure to leave this info also on the screen the next shade that i got um the next blush that i got is also from miss claire this is in the shade this is in the shade 7 so i guess the previous one is something else altogether so i will leave the shade names either at the bottom bar or on the screen this is in the shade 7 this is what it looks like it it has a few shimmer particles not really visible and and it's very sparse i guess just to make the product entire product more appealing I forgot to mention about this other maybelline lipstick that i got this is from their nudes collection or reds collection that they came out with this is in the shade noho amber and this is what it looks like i have not swatched this because again this is something that i got as a gift for someone else in my life So this is Noho Amber. I did buy quite a few foundations. I will be showing some of these in the video today and maybe a few others in the next video. The first foundation like product that I got was this Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator Bare Focus Tinted Hydrator. I got it in the shade medium tan. but this is not medium tan this is too light for me so i'll have to sort of figure out some other way of using it probably mixed with a more deeper foundation so this is the wet and wild hydrator i've heard a lot of nice things about it i think jessica brown talks very highly of this so this is the tinted hydrator the next uh, foundation that i picked up was the revolution conceal and define foundation in 12.2 not the best shade match In fact the shade match is all right but what I'm really concerned about is how bad it looks on the skin it is too mattifying especially in winters when you want that glow when you want your skin to look nice and hydrated this just sucks all the hydration away from your skin it is a terrible 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 foundation if you're not using the right kind of prep and if you have oily skin i guess it might work for you but if you've got dry skin i would steer clear of this you would 
probably like it if you prepped your skin really well or mixed it in with a moisturizer then maybe this would work not otherwise i like using this mixed in with uh, the swiss beauty um, strobing cream kind of on uh, the primer that you get in a pump bottle which is like a two for the max strobe cream or something so i like it mixed with that the next thing i got is a repurchase this is the maybelline matte poreless foundation i got it in the shade 332 golden caramel i had a not so good shade match i think i had it in the shade sun beige earlier on i used that up completely i have another half used sun beige uh, somewhere in my vanity and i got this one thinking maybe this would be a good summer shade for me and it was on a crazy discount i think i got it for like 325 or 350 rupees so i just back, took a bought a backup of this the next foundation that i got was the physicians formula healthy foundation oh my god the kind of rave reviews that this product gets i just had to buy it but the shade again is quite off i got it in the shade dn3 this is a beautiful foundation goes on beautifully on the skin you do not feel that heaviness that you feel when you're wearing makeup when you use this foundation i just wish i had a better shade match but well what can you do when brands are just introducing a couple of shades in india while while they have like a crazy massive shade range elsewhere i got two primers from elf elf I got two primers from Elf. I got their putty primer in the poreless variant and the luminous variant. I have used these in the sense that I've tried them on, tested them out a little. But the only difference between the luminous one and the putty ones is that this one has a little bit of shimmer but not the gaudy shining shimmer. It's it's a very subtle shimmer and this one is more of a thick um silicone primer consistency. I find this to be this is not a dupe for the l'oreal pore pore filling primer that uh, you know we we used to have initially i think it's called the matte magique primer this is not a dupe for it but it is certainly very very similar so this is the poreless putty primer and this is the luminous primer so i think we are way past the 12 minute mark and i think i want to stop this video right here uh otherwise this is just going to get really long so i guess i'll come up with maybe part 2 and part 3 of this haul i hope you enjoyed watching i'll see you all in the next one until then bye bye